405th member, this is Ithaca, and tonight we are going to talk about Pepicura. Alright, uh, Pepicura itself can, you can find it through the search. Uh, go back here, you have this nice little search button right here. Utilize it. Okay, type in wiki, type in Pe Pepicura, you'll find everything you need. There are other tutorials in here, but most of them are written. Some a little outdated because a different version, uh, but some of us do like hands on. So, anyway. You're going to go to www.tamasoft.co.jp slash pepicura dash en slash. Okay, uh, and once you come here to Pepicura, you're going to download the um, Pepicura Designer version 3.0.3 alpha. Okay, so it's download the designer, okay, not just the viewer. Now, once you download it and you install it, it's very easy to install. Uh, this is what it looks like when you open it. All right, um, I'm going to cover a few small things about Pepicura that I found important to myself here. Uh, you can see I have a CQB going on here. Uh, when you do use, pep do use your Pepicura, you're going to also use 110 pound uh, paper, which is uh, card stock, uh, the same the same type of paper used for business cards. Anyway, you're going to come here to File. Everything's going to be downloaded already. Like I said, use the search and find it. Click on Open. And then you're going to go in here and you're going to choose, you're going to select the folder you want and what image you want. Uh, once again, we're doing a CQB and we're going to do this LIFO.PDO. Okay, so we open it up and this is it as it's open. Now, uh, what you want to do first is you want to mess with the printer and paper settings, all right? Because this is going to affect this whole right side, your single, your uh, one pattern side, okay, the right side there. You, if you're in England, European countries, you want to use uh, Alpha 4. In the U.S., you want to use letter. Uh, you want to make sure it's on portrait, and you want to make sure you drop see the side margin. Drop it down to five. You want to drop your margin down to five, okay, on both of them, top and bottom margin, and then look over it real quick. Uh, it looks pretty good. The resolution is on high. Hit OK. Now you can see over here, my image is moved. Okay, in order to make these larger move your mouse the little top button the wheel click it forward and backward and you'll see it moves up and down okay that's how you adjust that now if you want to if you expand it and now you want to move it left and right let's say you bring these numbers up but now you don't want you want to see this pattern right click and drag hold the right click and drag it and you see you can move it same thing with your left image if you right click and move it you can move your 3d image around okay right now we're on two window Okay. If you want single window, you got these little icons up here. Two, uh, split window, and you have single window. Click on single window, and there you go. You have your single window. Okay. You want the dual? Click on a split. Okay. Going back to single, that's what I want to use. Now you need to move your images now that you readjust the size. But before you do that, once again, you want to go into your settings correction. You want to go into your 2D pattern window. Go into change the scale of development. Now specify the scale. Here's where you change your pattern size. Okay, if you know your height, your width, your depth, or your scale size, then you're going to enter all that information. That's going to change the images uh, as well as, as far as the size goes. So you want to make sure you do all these changes before you uh, move any patterns around. Once you do that, hit OK. Once you put all your information in. All right, it brings your window back up. Now you can move your pieces around. Uh, you're going to left click, drag to highlight, let go, click and hold one, and you can move a whole group or you can move individual pictures. Now I'm going to expand this a little bit for you, and I'm going to go to a single image that I want to move around for you. If you want to move a single image, click on it and move it around. Too easy, okay? Now, if you want to change the angle of that picture, look right up here on your left, you get these three little red balls, okay? Rotate part, click on that. Everything, all your patterns now have a little tiny balls on them. Click one ball, which is going to be your center point for the rotation. I want to use that top right corner. And now you're going to use any, any other ball, and you're going to click on it, and you're going to hold it, and you're going to spin it. See how that spins? Now that allows you to change your, um, uh, the angle of your pattern. that You can move it around and make it fit a little bit better. All right. A couple of things you want to make sure you're doing is, one, you're not overlapping. You're not going to have a pattern over pattern, and I don't know if you can see these dotted lines, let me zoom in a little bit here and try to, see these dotted lines right here, 
These dotted lines are your sheets of paper. These dotted lines, you don't want to have your pattern on those dotted lines or else your pattern is going to be cut. Okay, you want to make sure your numbers are shown. We're going to get involved in, in, in all that. Okay, now click on select and move. Okay, that allows you, that's the top left, right. Let's see, let me zoom back out here for you. Okay, that's right up top here. All right, that allows you, let me adjust my camera here for you. And that allows you to uh, move your center, your individual pieces again. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit faster here, okay? If you want, let's say, uh, let's, what else is important? Colors right here, uh, set edge color. Click on set edge color. You have cut line, mountain, valley, and hidden. Deselect all of them, except for the one you want. Now in this case, we want mountain, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the color. I'm gonna select brown. I like brown for the mountain, and I'm gonna hit okay. Now I'm going to right click and drag across all my patterns. You see how they're uh, starting to highlight red. Let go and they are now brown. Deselect mountain, reselect valley, hit color, change it to let's say green and you're going to hit OK and you do the exact same thing. You're going to right click, drag and there you go. They're green. You can close it out. Now to show you exactly what I'm talking about, I'm going to zoom in here I'm going to zoom in on my camera as well. Let's see. Right here. Let's see if you can see that. I don't know how well you can see, all you all can see that out there. Okay, it's a brown line, and that is a green line. You can change the difference in the color a little bit better than that if you like. But that, when you print it out, that will stay that way. And you can change your cut line too, and that way you can see your valleys and your uh, mountains a little bit clearer. Everybody knows your mountains you fold toward you, and your uh, valleys you fold away from you. Uh, let's see what else I want to cover with you all real quick. Um, everything's got to be in boxes, and that determines the amount of paper you use. You should use sheets, of course, as I, as I stated before. Um, let's go into if you if you print out and you realize you're just a, a tad bit too big, you can scale down and you can scale up. Let me zoom back out here for you. Right up top here. Okay. You go up there to 2D pattern window, down to change the scale of development, and you can see us uh, um, scale up to 10%, scale down by 10%. That changes the size of your patterns by 10%. Let's see what else we can show you here. I want to cover... Okay, move, printer settings, open file. This pretty much covers everything that, that I really wanted to show you. Um, you can't save without the password. Uh, let's see, let's go to the two window. Alright, see how it's gray. You can change on both windows Use mask or use uh, materials for faces. Uh, sometimes that will take away that color. Uh, show flaps. Show edge ID. Make sure that show edge ID is selected. If your numbers do not show, have fun. So you want to make sure you show edge ID and show flaps because that's where you're going to put your glue. You want to make sure those are definitely highlighted. All right, let's see what else I want to cover. Make sure your computer your printer is set up for the same settings as your Pepe Cure. If not, you're going to have, it's going to come up with a box showing you um, that you're having a problem with too. Let's see, show faces. Yes, there you go. You can click on 3D model, show faces, which is going to give you the color to it. Also turn off light, which will give you 3D look as well. You can tinker around with all the little buttons up there. It's not that big of a deal. Um, primarily that that's about it. Um, like I said, you want to make sure all your all your pieces fit. You can move them around all you want. Uh, make sure you got them all. Um, once it's done, then you just click on uh, print, and then it will start to print. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this video here. Actually, I'm gonna continue on another video. I want to go a little bit more into detail, and I'm at about my 10 minute marker. So be prepared for Prepare Part Two.